if you're curious, yes. Where we're going today is still my favorite level because of the way it looks. Hey guys, Dimension Gamer 2.0 here, bringing you more Toho, Scarlet, Curiosity. Last time! We went to the Waterfall of Nine Heavens. And while we were there, we battled, uh, Sukai. Today, we're heading to the Forest of Magic. <coughs> If that article is to be believed, the mist was coming from a forest. And then, there's the other article that says the monster appeared in the Forest of Magic. I hope there's a link between the two. I just, I love the colors here. Today, I will be trying to get to level 35. So, good chance I will probably be doing this level a couple of times. It does look like enemies are now up to level 20, which should help. Okay, that's where I need to be, so I want to go this way. Fight off as many enemies as we can. It helps with the leveling up. At least I think this way leads to a dead end. It might not actually. Let me go back and double check. Alright, I was wrong. I was very wrong. <laughs> oh, shit! I know I would have gone with whatever was giving me the most attack. Okay, got that taken care of. My bad. Ah! So that just brings me up here. going to be fun. White Ribbon. Let's try not to make the same mistake I did before. Ooh, 51 more health. Can't say no to more health. As long as it doesn't lower my attack. Ah! Not fun! Wow, it set me back a bit. Like I said, not fun. That's not the move I meant to do. That's the one I meant to do. Among Us had an update. That is actually a hard game to play on consoles because of the talking you gotta do. You can't talk right away and, you know, it just, it doesn't work in your favor. By the time you finish typing out what you want to say, the conversation's already moved.
I don't remember what the path was. Not too worried about accidentally stumbling uh, across the boss because I remember it, it's not gonna trigger right away. Like I'll get into the area and we'll be in kind of like we'll see a fence. So it's like I know when I'll have to leave and then come back. We're still uh, a little under halfway, so I might have to redo this level quite a few times. I am um, at this point in recording. I have currently edited up to uh, the human village. That was the last video I did. That raw footage was 44 minutes long, and by the time I was done, it was like 17 minutes. That's how much time I spent level grinding on that level and part of the reason why I didn't uh, level grind last time just didn't it's just gonna take a while I like to think by now we should be halfway. Yeah, we're a little over. Halfway would have been like, um, 6,500. When I looked at it before, I was thinking 7,500, but that wouldn't be right. Because then, uh, halfway would have been, uh, like, 15. I think this is the way I don't want to go yet. I think this way leads to the dead end. Okay, well that... I went further back than I intended to. <laughs> hey, they came back! Disappointing. I guess I got turned around. I mean, it is a forest. You do tend to get turned around in these kind of places. In my defense. Well, I guess if anything, I could go ahead and just do my level grinding here if these enemies are going to be returning. Might as well take advantage of it. These guys are 21. That's a little bit stronger than what they were at the start of the level.
So I think to make him come back, I need to go through here and then through here and it reloads them. Yep. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do that till I hit level 35. So I will see you guys then. Or if something of relevance happens. Alrighty, so I'm not level thir- Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, yep. Alright, so I'm not quite level 35 yet, but I'm right at the edge of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start moving on. Because we'll hit level 35 before we uh, get to the boss. <coughs> I've been coming over to this area too, and battling those uh, centipedes was giving me a lot of experience. I think I saw an enemy as the screen was uh, transitioning. I kind of looked away for a moment. Level up! We learned the strong knife skill. Uh, throws knives in three directions with great power behind each. that a try for a little bit what's the uh, strength behind it damage 472 I had silver oh wow yeah that's better still never mind <laughs> we're gonna stick with that one get some experience or experience some health already got the experience John There was a vine next to me. I feel like this is the direction to the boss. So we should probably turn around and check out the other side. Definitely enemies here. Uh, I don't see any around here, though. It's definitely a dead end. But we got some enemies to fight, so that's what we want. Oh, that does remind me. I did get quite a few weapons. I don't know if any of the... Ooh. There's a bit of an improvement. There's a bit of an improvement. Okay. Ooh. More health. That increases some stuff at the cost of only five health. my phone light up. That's a lot of loss of item drop rate just for one re skill regain.
Yeah, okay. So what's my stats up now? My health's up to 1300, my attack's up to 200. Wow, quite a difference though. We had hit over a thousand with Remelia, didn't we, on attack? And so far, we're only, uh, the 200. How much extra attack did, um, that stuff from, like, the gotcha machine give me? Because it must have given me quite a bit. Ah, oh, shoot. Wrong way. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I didn't really think that would give us anything good. Here's some enemies that are level 22. It does not look like I want to drop down there. like I can jump back. It's kind of a point of no return. Spot's a little more dangerous for Sakuya than it is for Romelia, since Romelia can glide. Romelia just seems to be more of a convenient character. white ribbon worth it? No. We should be just about done with the level. Can't imagine that there's too much more of it. There we go. Oh, long time no see. What brings you here today? Mist, to be precise. Do you know if there's anywhere around here where you can see a low-hanging mist? You can see mist in the forest all the time. There's nothing too special about that. I'm not looking for any ordinary mist. I'm looking for a strange mist that you can see emanating from uh, the forest from miles away. I don't think I've seen anything like that. I mean, could you really even call that mist? Then what about this? It says right here, Forest of Magic Sight of Latest Supernatural Sighting. Oh, yeah, I guess there was that issue. So you do have some information to share then. Actually, I'd rather keep a lid on it for the moment. See how things pan out. You have information, and I need that information. So, even if you refuse, I'm afraid I must insist that you talk. And we're instantly going to go with a fight. 
You know, I'd like to think that since you work at a mansion, you might be able to use some other form of convincing. I don't know. Money? Perchance? I imagine Romelia's got quite a bit if she owns a mansion. And that's that. So no giant doll this time. Okay, there's the doll. <laughs> Goliath doll? That's right. The picture printed in that article is my doll. It must have been taken while I was doing tests to make it bigger. The process is still in the experimental stage, though. There's still plenty that needs tweaking. Fascinating. That's why I told you I'd rather keep it quiet for the time being. Still, it's not like I don't sympathize. First, your house was attacked, then folks start to suspect that you're behind the monster. Oh, speaking of the monster, I picked up a few rumors saying that it was spotted in both Genbu Ravine and the Fairy Forest. Come to think of it, I did go to Genbu Ravine, but I turned back midway. And the picture shows mist rising from a forest. So the Fairy of Forest is certainly worth checking out. Alrighty, next time we'll probably be going to Genbu Ravine, kind of keeping it to similar as to uh, before. And I did realize I forgot to read uh, the newspaper. <coughs> Where's this at? Okay, well, I guess we have two newspapers to read real quick. First, Crimson Mist Conjuring Merciless Monsters. The newspaper that Moko tried to use as proof that Romelia is the monster who's been stirring up troubling in Sokyo. The article claims red mist appeared in the forest near the mountain, and that soon after this mist appears, the monster follows shortly thereafter. Uh, teams investigating the recent string of monster appearances have discovered a connection between each incident that has residents of Gensokyo and Edge. Each monster's emergence seems to be prefigured by the appearance of a red mist, which builds until the beast appears in a, fla in a flash of light. While it's still unknown whether these fiends are born from the mist, there are no doubts now that the red mist is the vehicle by which they enter this world. Red mist isn't unknown to Gensokyo, however, for some of these recent events may have stirred memories of the Red Mist incident brought on by a vampire named Romelia Scarlet. With her manor located near Misty Lake, where the Maloka Momembe appeared, some believe that the reclusive vampire is the mastermind behind the recent monster appearances. Scarlet Devil Mansion has not released an official statement, but is permitting to note that no link has been established between... Oh, yeah. And then finally, Forest of Magic site of latest supernatural sighting. This issue's top story involves a nightmare sighting of the monster in the Forest of Magic. Just like the other newspapers, the quality of the included image is questionable at best. The houses at the bottom of the picture look somewhat familiar, though. A uh, monster may be the same that appeared on Mountain. Eyewitnesses on the scene of the Forest of Magic have reported a new monster incident, saying that its silhouette form rose above even the highest trees. It is hoped that, the studying, that by studying the forest in greater detail, we may finally learn more about what these creatures truly are. This monster had a strange quirk. It didn't seem to move. This comes as a marked difference from the other monsters that have been profiled thus far. I couldn't get too close to the forest with, with what, what with the miasma and all, explained the photographer who captured this is this issue's headline picture, but I sat where I was for two hours lining up a series of shots and the thing didn't move once. A closer look at the image reveals some sort of house or structure near the base of the monster. Homes in this general area include the Kirsami Magic Shop, Alice... Uh, Marta Grode's house, Crindo, and the many homes built by fairies who have fondness for imitating human craftsmanship. With only the light of the moon to go by, it is not readily apparent whose house is pictured uh, here, 
but the staff of the Rodaburmo. Okay, and then we'll read this one uh, when we go to the fairy forest. Genbu Ravine in the fairy forest, huh? With all the run around, I'm starting to wonder if this monster really exists. Would you like to record your adventure? Alrighty! Next time! We're gonna head back to Genbu Ravine. See you guys then.